settled in. Getting ready to start calling. I got Alan on one side, Justin on the other. I'm in the middle. We're all sitting on scrape lines, rub lines. Let's see what we can do. Here we go.
Yeah, baby, Justin Scott on the board. Do down 2020, baby. Yeah. said uh, just milled around and fed head and match direction so still super windy <laughs> temperatures dropping a little bit so hopefully this dough will filter through in front of Matt if it gets past Matt hopefully I'll get a glimpse at it I don't intend on shooting a, a dough but like I said I can't promise anything having a great uh, morning here Southwest Missouri. It is October 24th. Pre rut starting to kick in, baby. We got a lot of excitement planned ahead. We got some vacation days coming up. Anyway, we're still gonna stick it out for a little while longer. We got a long drag ahead of us already this morning, but we'll try and get another one down for you. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Justin here, Ozark Mountain Outdoors Adventures. Just got a doe down, we're recovering her now. I was gonna do a step-by-step -step of my day. Video equipment wasn't on my side this morning, so climb this tree here, and within 30 minutes, had a doe come in. She stops here at this little cedar right there. I'm 15 foot up, and she just stares at me and runs off. I'm like, well, she didn't blow, so I'm just gonna set it out. A little while later, and Two does come in over here, and they're just sitting there eating acorns, probably 30, 45 minutes they're sitting there. And then she comes in and gets right behind this cedar tree here, long enough for me to get a draw on her, and she pops off, and I drill her, double lunged her, and arrow went clean through and through, just beautiful shot. We'll take you over there here in just a second to show you that. And when I ranged it out, I believe it was 43 yard shot. So, let's go check this deer out. Hey, more to come. Hey, Adam. More to come. <laughs> and here's this arrow. Is the arrow? Yep. Oh. Bloodline, it doesn't lie. And that broad head, oh, she did wonders. And there's your 40 yard shot over there on that tree. Mm -hmm. That's a heck of a shot, yeah. Jay. Good I'm, job. I'm a believer in these muzzy hybrids, and when you see the deer, oh yeah. You'll see. Alright, and here's the here's the exit, the entry the exit on her, you know. Just perfect shot. I'd you know I'm kind of sounded a little conceited right there, but it could not have went any better on this hunt. And no. uh for that distance I and mean, that's 40 yards all day long. And this is a lot of first for me. It's my first year bow hunting period ever. My first year in a climber stand period. Never even touched one before, shoot, we even got into season before I even climbed one. And first bow kill, I mean, and here's another one for you guys. First public land deer. This is Missouri Conservation Area deer, right here. Stay with us and we'll get you some more.
So here's what we've done. It was actually really very, very far to hike this doe out. So what we did is we looked at the map and we found a road on the backside that was about as third as far than where we parked the truck. So we each had a backpack and either a climber stand or a hang on with steps and our bows. We took all of it and hiked it to the road, put it down, stripped down some layers. We hid it all, covered it up with clothing, uh, and then we're all three hiking back. Justin and Alan are going to get the deer gutted. While they're getting the deer, I'm gonna continue on to the truck, which is about a mile and a half from the deer, about two and a half miles from where we are right now. The goal is, by the time I get to the truck, I drive around the circle to where the gear is. I'll go ahead and load the gear up. Meanwhile, they're gonna gut and begin to drag that doe out this way. Hopefully, by the time I get the gear loaded up, they'll be getting to me with the doe. We can head back to the skin shed and uh, I'm thinking we'll probably have some fresh tenderloins for lunch today. It ain't my deer, but I could probably talk him into it. Stay tuned. <laughs> we just started. That's why we're still smiling. Tame fires. It's 803 yards as the crow flies. We well, can't split the tree, Al. <laughs> okay, here we go. Time to get serious. <sighs> Two and a half miles later, it has been a very, very long walk. Justin's got 14 coffee cups in here. Okay, now I'm gonna drive around and make the loop. Pick your guys up. Hopefully they'll be getting out with that dough before long. I gotta go, I guess pick our gear up first. Stick with us. We might be home. No, it's it's 11.30. It's going to be afternoon for sure. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten a thing all day. All right. Stick with us. All right. We're a little over halfway. And this is where you remember how out of shape you are. Yeah. I'm going to be 41 in December. I take uh, pay, PayPal, anything like that. Happy birthday, Al. In December, we're almost to the road. I can't believe it worked. Here they come. If I got back to the truck, swung around. This is a private property, so I had to get permission. But loaded up all the gear. They gave us permission to access their driveway. Come get this dough out. Oh. Where are you out of breath? Oh, oh, she stinks. Why oh, she smell so bad? That exit wound. Gut. Oh, did it? Yeah. All right. We need to get her to a garden hose. Good bad. All right, Matt, load her up. Go ahead, Matt. I don't blame you.
I threw the one around that rim. That's where we did that eight pointer last year. Drop that tailgate down there. Oh, looky, looky, looky. That deer drag worked out pretty well, man. Did it? Yeah. There she is. Through and through. <laughs> All right, folks. We, we got a fresh doe hanging from the tree here. It is October 24th. We're going to do a quick how-to Ozark Mountain Outdoor Venture, venture style quartering up on this, on this doe here. I'm not saying it's the right way, but it is the way to get her done. Uh, I'm going to ask Justin here to help on this, and maybe he can learn something, or maybe he can teach me something. So we're going to get right to it. Stay tuned with us. Yeehaw! You got the GoPro running? Not yet. Should I? Yeah. I think so. Go ahead and hit it. Tell me when you're rolling on the other camera too. We're good on both. Okay, so here is the... Alrighty, Matt, what do we got going on? That is the tenderloin we just took out of that dough. Um, I trimmed all the fat off, got all the silver skin off, so it's nothing but red meat. And then uh, the seasoning is salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, steak seasoning, and then uh, some Worcestershire and some A1 sauce. Oh yeah, that's gonna be tasty. We're gonna sear it on both sides here for just a few minutes, and then uh, they should be good to go. 